We made it. Oh, we made it. <laughs> you guys know I was so anxious for project week three. Um, but I'm so happy to say I successfully have completed my project. I'm assuming I'm past. We haven't gotten our evaluations yet. But at this time, I can say that I made it through project week three. Um, this was a solo project for our cohort. And so we had to create a full stack MERN application. What I chose to do, or my original idea was, I wanted to, um, so I co-founded a blog with my friend, it's called Anti Wahala. Um, it's going to, it was supposed to launch this year, but I tasked myself with creating the blog and not realizing how much work it was going to be. Um, I definitely didn't complete it on time. So I thought it would be a great idea for my project week three, since we have free reign over what we can do. I thought it would be a great idea to get kickstarted. So I thought I was going to like build out the whole like navigation and all the routes and everything going on. And my plan was to be able to put a few articles on the website and then allow users to post comments on the website. That was my plan. It was gonna pass the project. And then I think on the second day of project week, my professor was like, you're doing too much. You're doing way too much. You need to just scale it down and then you can just build upon this project. And when you're finally ready to launch the blog, you can take it off of GitHub and move it to um, your website. So that was my plan. I thought I was just gonna have this full banging website that was just interactive and cute, but that didn't happen. So I did scale it down and just kind of start from the beginning. Um, and so what I created was an area or a website where you can go and log in, you can post. Um, at this time, we're just gonna accept, I guess, article suggestions and comments or article suggestions for us, we have a list running. So maybe I'll find a way to um, already show you the articles we have. Um, but right now the blog, essentially, you can log in, create a post about maybe something you wanna see. And then that's something I can see on my end. You can only see at this time what you have particularly put as an article, meaning you can only see what your suggestions. I'm going to change the authentication at some point to where you can see everybody's suggestions um, just so that you're not suggesting the same thing and you can see other things. But this is the beginning of Anti Wahala blog. And for those of you who don't know, Anti Wahala in Yoruba means trouble or problem. And Yoruba is a um, language or a tribe in Nigeria. Um, I'm not Yoruba, but I've, Wahala is such a um, convenient or like catchphrase that a lot of people use it. I didn't even really know the origin of it until I looked it up. And so Wahala means problem, trouble, and essentially the, the V blog is designed to help international teenage girls. And by international, I mean of any origin living anywhere, the US, Canada, um, Russia, Mexico, China, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, wherever the case they may live, and to allow them to help them to navigate two spaces. So for instance, a, a lot of women who are of two nationalities, meaning for instance, myself, I'm Nigerian and I'm American. We have a Nigerian parent or foreign born parent, but we were born and raised here. I wasn't raised, I wasn't born here. I was born in Canada, but I was raised here in the US. And so it has been a, a balancing act of navigating your Nigerian culture and navigating your United States culture. I didn't grow up around a lot of Nigerians. So a lot of that culture hasn't really had to be navigated for me, except when I'm dealing with my parents. So the point and the goal of Anti Wahala Blog is to provide advice and, and tidbits and tips for women who are growing up or young ladies who are growing up with that same kind of dilemma, navigating both spaces as an American and as somebody else and giving them advice. For instance, I wrote an article about stress um, and how like, for instance, my parents, used to they've gotten a lot better now but they used to be the type where when i said i would stress they would try and negate that stress by saying that oh you didn't have to walk six miles to get water every day before school like that is of course stressful right but that is not my stress and you have made certain sacrifices or they have made certain sacrifices for me to not have to do those things that does not mean that i'm not stressed just because that i don't have to do those things those that's just not my experience so that's the point of the blog is to provide 
tips and tricks for women and young ladies that are growing up with that kind of experience. It's going to have a bunch of quizzes and games. Those are all things that are going to be built by me. Well, most of them will be built by me. Um, as well as the website itself and then articles talking about we have a ton of articles already ready to go we're just waiting on me to finish this website and then we, it will also include interviews because i do like i said this is not just for like africans this is for everybody so i do i am blessed to have a large friend group who um comes from all parts of the world so those there will be interviews for that too so I would highly suggest that whatever you choose for project three, you make it something meaningful, something that you want to do, something you've been wanting to do. Um, and I thought by picking that for project three, it would be a little self-serving, but in reality, it's something that I'm, I'm going to be expanding on past the boot camp. So it's something I want to do. Like I said, the, the game in week one, I built it and I abandoned it. Like I don't care. I told you guys I don't play games. so. I will be building it out for this website. So it, in turn, it's going to give me exposure to a lot of different things. And I would highly encourage you now, if you haven't started or you know that Project Week 3 is coming up for you soon, use this time before the boot camp or before Project Week 3 to really think about a project that you want to see. The only thing I wanted to see was the blog. I, if, if I wasn't allowed to say do the blog, if they, if they had told me no, I personally don't know what I would have done. Um, at the last minute, I tried to change it to like a job application tracker or a, um, what was I going to do? A job application tracker or there was something else I was thinking. Oh, a bill tracking sheet, which I mean, those are things I need because I am applying for jobs and I do like to track my bills. I'm very type A, but that just didn't speak to me. I wasn't really going to do anything with that past. I mean, once I get the jobs or apply for the jobs, that's it. Right. So. It didn't really speak to me or anything like that. So if you can, if you haven't started the boost camp and or if you are not at Project Week 3 or this Mer full stack Mer project, try and brainstorm, maybe talk to your friends, talk to your family, try and find something that you're interested in seeing so that when that time comes, you have an idea. I was blessed to already have this idea, but I know a few of my classmates struggled with making something or creating something cool because they didn't really ha hadn't really thought about what they wanted to see out there in the world and we do have time to plan but it would be nice if you had something that you could not only plan but maybe expand upon once the boot camp is over so that would be my tip for project week three is to really think about something you want to see that isn't built or if it's built how you can make it better and build it and make it look better um so i will link below my github to this um uh project and it it'll change over time and you'll see how I wrote my readme and things like that to give you an idea of what kind of project you'll be building for project week three um, with GA. So, okay. So with all that being said, that's the end of project week. Successful, didn't have any major issues except my project not looking the way that I wanted it to look or function. But my tip that I want to leave you with is that it's okay if what you plan to do isn't exactly as planned, you know. Through this project, you know, I was a little discouraged for a day or so because I felt like, you know, I wanted to build the whole blog and build it out, at least like get the basics down while I still had my instructors and my classmates available to me to help me debug. But I had to learn that you just have to work sometimes with what you have, meaning I wasn't going to be able to build out the full website in a full week. Um, so I thought, but I just had to just do what I could and make it look really nice. So at least it looks nice, or in my opinion, it looks nice. Um, so like I said, I'll link it down below for you guys to look at, you have an idea. Um, obviously there's certain things that I wanna work on, like the responsiveness of it, like being able to resize it and it still like functions the same, things like that, that I need, know I need to work on that I will be working on um, post project week three. But this was a much better project lead for me. I kept it chill, kept it calm, and I just went with what I had and worked with what I had. And that's the only advice besides thinking ahead of time what kind of project you want to build. That's the only advice I have for project week three. So we survived week nine, project three, on to week 10. We are three weeks out from finishing this boot camp. I think you guys already know how excited I am, but I am ecstatic. I cannot wait. I mean, I'm enjoying this time. I'm enjoying this process, but I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> I know this is only the beginning of the journey, but whew, 
<laughs> it's ghetto here and I'm ready to go back to work, you know? So with that being said, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope that you are with me on this journey and that you decide to make that commitment. My, my email is always open. My messages are always open. Feel, please feel free to reach out and I will give you the 411 because some of you guys email me and what you're being told and what's actually in the boot camp are two completely different things. And it's funny now that I'm almost done that um, I'm putting two and two together. I'm like, eh. so email me. If you want some details, definitely email me at control alt Denise. Information's in the um, bio. Not the bio, this is not Instagram. My information is in the description box below. Control alt Denise at gmail.com. Um, Dead or Onukes on Instagram or Twitter. But if you want more detailed information or just to chat, let me know. Um, like I said, all my contact information is below and enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you guys after week 10. We are starting Python and Django. Is it the Django or Django? I'm assuming it's Django, but we're starting Python and Django. So we'll see how that goes.